This week on The Wire, Australia top 20 in global growth, growth forecast for economic rebound and building approvals stronger since 2014. G'day guys. My name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment, share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So top story for this week, Australia top 20 in global growth. The Australian housing market is ranked in the top 20 globally for growth, and that is according to the Knight Frank Global House Price Index. The half-year ranking, which tracks the movements in residential prices across 56 countries and territories worldwide, confirmed Australian property prices had increased 6% in financial year 2020. The position is 37 places higher than last year and puts Australia's ranking at number 19 globally. Head of Residential Research Australia, Michelle Cezaleski, says while annual price growth in Australia has fallen slightly from the previous quarter, growth is still positive and 1.4% higher than the annual price change of 4.7% across the 56 countries and territories tracked in the index. Australia has dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic better than some other countries and territories around the world, with the length and severity of the lockdown not as strong, which partly explains its stable performance. New Zealand was the best performing country in Asia Pacific with growth of 9% over the past year. Now for our next story, growth forecast for economic rebound. So the nation's leading economists are forecasting growth of 0.35% in the September quarter, followed by a 1.4% in the December quarter, heralding the return of a stronger economy. The forecast depend on a resurgence in consumer confidence and consumer spending. Now, consumer spending fell by 12% in the June quarter, leading to a 7% contraction of GDP, and that's according to Westpac Chief Economist Bill Evans. It really is explained by the consumer spending and the government policies around lockdown, Evans says. Unable to go out and spend during this time, consumers put the country into a different kind of recession, but increased their savings to 20%. That comes from Bill Evans. Broadly, the country's economic fundamentals are sound, and that's uh, coming from Matthew Peter, Chief Economist at QIC. We need to remember that the fall in economic activity was due to a lockdown of consumers and businesses, says Peter. With a higher level of savings now in place, households have plenty of spending power as the economy reopens. Now guys, for our final story of the week, building approvals strongest since 2014. So home building approvals rose by 8.5% in July, the biggest monthly increase since 2014. The high-rise approvals component increased 23% in the month, resulting in a 12% increase in the number of dwellings approved. And that's according to the Australian Bureau of Statistics. While total dwelling approvals had only recovered around a third of the 20% decline since the pandemic began, there were almost 9,000 detached houses approved in July, which was a rate similar to that before the pandemic. Now, ABS Director of Construction Statistics, Daniel Rossi, says the July figures likely reflect improved customer sentiment in May on the back of falling virus cases and easing restrictions. Approvals for private sector houses rose by 16% in Queensland, 14% in New South Wales, and 6% in Victoria. Approvals fell in Western Australia by 3% and South Australia by 2%. Now, Westpac economist Matthew Hassan said the big picture is of a solid July lift that reflects a boost from the federal government's home builder scheme and cycling of direct disruptions from the COVID shutdown. Well, guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.